Hi, I'm Mary Pop, Customer Service Support Technician here at Yolabo USA. Today we're going to learn how to do some updates on our Presto. Before we start updating the Presto, we want to make sure we save our settings. You can do this by inserting a USB FAT32 format into the side of the unit. We're going to go into Menu, Install Unit, Save Load Parameters, Save, and we're going to select a file name you can and hit OK. This will drop the settings onto your USB so we can re-add them in later. And then once it's done, we can go back to the home screen and remove your USB. Now that we've saved our settings, we can go ahead and retrieve the file sent by a service team member. You want to have folders PicoMod, Update, and Kernel on a separate USB. USB should be in FAT32 format, about 2 gigabytes with no other files on it. Once we have that ready, we can go ahead and plug it into the Presto. The files should download automatically. Ours is running. Once the files are done updating, it will go ahead and automatically restart and come up with the files that it was able to successfully update. Now that our unit is successfully updated on the modules, we can go ahead and power it off to reset it. We're going to leave it off for about a minute, we'll remove our USB stick, and then we'll work on updating the configuration. So now that we've updated our modules, we reset our unit, we're going to go ahead and power it back on so we can update our configuration file. Now we can go ahead and plug in our USB stick with the configuration file on it. Then we go into Menu, Install Unit, Configure Unit, and then we're on the USB drive, we're going to want to select our config file and hit OK. The unit should then automatically start configuring. Once the configuration is done, you can go ahead and press OK, go back to your home screen, unplug your USB. Now that configuration has been updated, we can load our settings back that we previously saved. You know, plug your USB with the settings on it into the side of the unit. We're going to go into Menu, Install Unit, Save Load Parameters. We're going to want to open and select our file from earlier and press OK. This will update your settings for you. Once that's done, you can go ahead and go back to the home screen, remove your USB, and we can start heating stuff up and cooling it down.